What do you mean, I suck at this? I, I know it wasn't the best plan, but you were there. You were part of it. How dare you say... You, you know what? You know what? L look, look me in the eye. I'll show you how it's done. You'll see. I'll show you how it's done. J you mark my words, Pavel. I'll show you how it's done. Cue the music! dear pebbles this is how it's done well hello hello my dear friends my dear viewers welcome back to the channel and today as you can see I just dealt with the situation I was supposed to deal last time here in the channel and I did a very quick work of these bandits now yes I did not took them in open combat but then again never was that my intention, for they are, I admit, powerful enemies, and therefore I had to be powerful in the mind to, you know, get around the situation. But it is resolved, and as such, we are now, we have now dealt with all the bandits and are free to proceed with the next step of this quest. Now, allow me to just pick a few flowers before going to the quest. Lock. So, my friend Timmy, I found out from Ricky that another of the bandits who raided Newhoff is apparently hiding out in a mill south of Meriodin. Get Timmy to tell you where the other bandits are hiding. Now, where is this? Okay, it's somewhere, so we can go there. And honestly, I just want to check this location here. I'm gonna save this on the horse, because I want to... Go to a grindstone and sort of repair these these weapons and and use them later. Okay, that reduces my speed and affects my Oh it's a jerkin. Ah of course it does. Okay, so I'll save it and I'll sell it later. I will drop this because it's already inedible and I'll most likely have to drop that meat as well but no matter just keep moving stuff 
to Pebbles. And yes, our dear Pebbles was doubting our capabilities. I hope that taught you a lesson, Mr. Pebbles. Now there was... This is called a burned out farm, so... There's probably no one around, so maybe there's loot? No, it does seem... It does seem pretty... Pretty much okay-ish. I mean... It doesn't look abandoned at all. Oh, okay, it does look a bit deserted. Okay, there's a very easy lockpick here. Ah, no, there is someone here. Then why... Why did I call it a... An, a a burnt out farm. I mean, maybe there was another place on my way that was a burnt out farm, or maybe that's that's the one down there? I don't know, but I saw the thing, I know what I saw. Oh man, so many flowers to pick up. Oh no, gotta resist. I gotta resist. Uh, maybe that's it down there. Let me check. Oh, look at them. I just no, 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 gotta resist. Not on this video. Not on this video. Not now, I say. Not now. Okay, so there is something here. Hoop! Get that vitality up a bit. You know, good old vitality. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Okay. Okay, you can jump this. Alright, so this is... This just looks like a pigsty. Or something. Okay, so, no matter. We are going to the woods. Because apparently that's where our good old friend is. We can go back to Meriodon by fast travel. Or we can just... Pebbles, you are a magic horse. <laughs> My goodness. Who'd yeah. say? You can talk and you can teleport. Truly magic indeed. Yeah. Okay, I'll avoid fast travel for now. I do like to travel properly by horse, so and it's not that far. We we can we can go and enjoy the scenery. That's what we'll do. And we are back here anyway, so I've been here somewhere finding looking for a treasure. It's in a well somewhere around there. But I got the treasure already, so it's not there anymore. I'll probably not be able to pass through here. Ah, there's a road here. Okay. And I appear to be pretty much... Pretty much on the right path, so... I guess we'll keep on going. I love this game. I really do. It has grown on me significantly. I gotta say... I don't know if I said this before, but the re the ultra realism on the combats, on the injuries, the stamina and whatnot, was a factor that worried me a lot when I first started. Because, I mean, I am good-ish, oops, sorry Pebbles, I am good-ish at video games, I'm not that good. And usually when a game has a lot of these, like, complex mechanics, I do have to admit, sometimes they put me off. Because no matter how much I try, I can't get proper, like, coordination, button input coordination to just pull them off correctly. And although I do have to say that this game still gives me a lot of trouble, I have been finding ways to... Oh, God. I have tried to find ways to combat that. And I think that the encounter with these bandits has proven that there is never just one way of doing things. Because you see, they were all on the road, so they were isolated, and, and they, they were easy targets, so I just did the sensible thing and picked them off one by one. In real life, I guess I would pretty much do the same thing. Okay, just one batch. Ah, oh, just one batch, yes. Oh, look at that. Ah. Oh. I have a thing, like, if you'd allow me, I'd just spend an entire video just picking flowers. Whose horse is this? Inspect him. It is better than Pebbles, but Pebbles is Pebbles. 
Hello. Who are you? Villager. Good health to you. Ah, thank you. To you as well, sir. I'm looking for Timmy. A fellow called Timmy around here. Yep. He turned up a few days ago, so we took him on as a farmhand. Ah, good. He won't last long, though. He's as strong as a pair of oxen, but twice as dumb. He can't lay a finger on anything without breaking it. Oh, the poor sod. <laughs> so he is here, so that's good. We just have to find him. He's probably... Are you Timmy? Yeah. Hey Timmy. Hey Timmy. How are you today? I'm all right. Uh, have we met? We have now. <laughs> huh? Oh shit. What do you want? It wasn't me. I didn't. I mean. Shit. Calm down. I just want. I saw what you did at Neuhof. <laughs> what are you talking about? You weren't there. Uh, I mean, I wasn't there. Don't waste your breath. You were there with Nymph and Nymphos and Nymphos. You heard all about it. What do you want, Tom? Your mate Hinnick told me about a whole camp full of those boy signs. And I want to find it. I need to find it. Yeah, but... But why should I trust you, though? I'm not stupid. Well, reports said otherwise. Pretending. Trying to catch me up. I won't tell you nothing. Well, look at that. The lad has brains. Ah, but yes, of course. <laughs> we have full advantage on everything but the physical department. So, we could theoretically just try to talk him out of this. I will use the speech because it seems like the most sensible option. Because I have such an advantage over him. Uh, but yeah, this one could probably work as well. But I'm gonna go with the safe option, which seems to be the speech one. Why would I be trying to catch you out? For Christ's sake, man, they crucified Limpy Lubosh and Ujit. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Shit, 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 shit. What will I do? Shit. I don't know where their camp is. Oh, That's come on. Force, shit. Kinnett told me you were there, and that Pius warned you to keep your mouth shut. You must know something. Well, once I was there with them, yeah. Only, I was pretty drunk, so I'm not too sure. Try to remember. It was in the woods. In some kind of woods. You know, with a... Aye. There were some wrecked houses there and all. In the woods. A, a church. There was a church there. Oh, well, there's something. A broken one, though. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Now it's all clear to me. <laughs> Remember which way you went? It was straight north from Talmberg. When you go uphill from the castle, there's a path there. Well, it does remember a lot, so... I think. It leads to the woodcutter's camp. If you go further on past the woodcutters, you come across this abandoned house. Can't miss it. Looks like a house. Only abandoned. <laughs> Go to the and carry on till you come to this clearing with a big beech tree. Or was it an oak? <sighs> uh, you go left there again. There's this narrow path, and you go straight along there. Sometimes it splits up. You just keep to the left until you come to a crossroads by this big flat rock. You keep straight on there. After a while, you'll see a bridge. And it's right there. Easy as you please. Better than nothing, I suppose. But you won't tell nobody about Neuhoff, right? You promise? Oh, no, bugger. I meant to make you promise. But I forgot. <laughs> uh, I mean... This guy, like, sure, he's a big oaf and all, like, he's a bit dumb, but he still did some pretty messy shit. I mean, <sighs> I'm sorry, man. Like, you have to confess. Part in that massacre, Timmy. People got killed and the farm yeah. was burned down. You can't expect to get away with it just like that. Come with me to Ratai. They'll know what to do with you there. No, no. I won't go anywhere with you. They'd hang me. 
What do you expect? That you can join a gang of robbers to go thieving, murdering and burning and nothing will happen to you? Come with me and at least you'll die like an honest Christian. Never! You might as well kill me here and now. Uh... I mean... Should I do it? Ah, you know what, just... Well, the Lord sees you, so who am I to judge you? Your sins will come back to haunt you yet. Don't make me regret this, you... big... I could probably win against him, that's not my problem, just... I was expecting there was a way we could just take him... You know, properly, but that doesn't seem to be... That doesn't seem to be a way to... Alright, now, I think that... Where is... Oh, Sir Ranzig is... Is surprisingly close to here. I was not expecting that. Okay, I guess we can go to him now, so let's go. Alright. Away, Pebbles, we go. So Radzik is closer than we expected. I guess that's why his horse was lost around in Meriodon. As it was a few episodes ago. Yeah. I don't know if I published that. I most like... I probably haven't. Because, yeah, I was in Meriodon once and I saw... Sir Radzik's camp. Sir Radzik's horse. Waltz in around Meriodon, so... Oh, hello. Are you trying to impress me, sir? I gotta say, it's unbecoming of you. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Okay. Let's not tell him about the priest in Ujits, you know. About that encampment, sir. What is it, lad? I found out about the camp from another of the bandits who deserted. He's called Timmy. Big fellow, but more brawn than brain. The camp is an abandoned village in the woods to the west of Talmberg. Good work, lad. Have you been to check it out? Do you know how many of them there are? I don't know much apart from where it is. Ooh. We really need to find out more. Could you go back there and try to discover anything that could help us in the assault? The more we know, the better. And if you could carry out some sabotage while you're in there, it would be invaluable. But don't take any unnecessary risks. No. I don't want to lose you. Okay. I'll try. Certainly, sir. That is... I'll do what I can. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Give your eyes and ears, lad. Our success will depend on what you find out. Go. And get back here as soon as you can. Meanwhile, I'll muster my men. I'll find out what I can and be right back. God be with you. Alright. Can I talk to you about anything else? I have some news about the investigation. Good. Tell me. I went to Ujit, where they told me I could find Lubosh. Only someone had murdered him. It seems they're trying to cover their tracks and get rid of witnesses. Indeed. The whole affair is becoming ever more suspicious. Have you any further clues? I found out about another one of them. A crony of Limpy Lubosh's. They call him Riki, and he comes from Nadechko. You're doing a good job, but you need to be careful. Have you found this Riki fellow? I'm afraid my news isn't good, sir. Hmm. I might have expected as much. Tell me the worst. This Riki fellow was hiding out in the woods, and his former accomplices really did want to kill him, because he, Limpy Lubosh, and others deserted them in Neuhof. It seems they wanted no part in the killing. Anyway, Riki told me they were hired by a bandit they call Runt. He's the one who stole your sword. Those murdering whore sons weren't after loot. They just wanted to do damage. And the worst thing is, they have an encampment in the area, and they're getting ready to make more trouble. Sakra. Anything else? That's all I've found out so far, sir. All right. Come back and report to me as soon as you learn anything new. Should we tell him about the priest? Let's tell him about the priest, why not? I've been to Egypt, and the parish priest there is very odd indeed. He's very handy with a sword. Do you know anything about him, sir? Godwin? 
Aye, an intriguing fellow. He's the youngest son of one of the lords of Kuttenberg. Ah. He was sent to the university to become a priest, as is customary with the youngest son. But he didn't much care for it. So when he finished studying, instead of taking up his parish, he went roaming. I imagine he had a pretty adventurous life. And then one day he came back and settled down. Hanush would know more about him. Okay. So if it is to our liking, we can go to Anush and try to learn more about this priest. Let's see, how what's the state? Yeah, the... Mm. I don't know if it will improve the condition. Let me see if... If it helps at all. It does not. And it most likely won't help with anything. So I will probably just drop them in and just be done with them already uh, just drop them off yeah I'm sorry but it is as it is all right now I guess we can go ahead to that camp and just stay in its outskirts ah wait no before that well no you know what the timing of this video is good, and we have indeed made some progress, and we did some amazing things. I'm gonna try to edit that first section in a bit of a more uh, cool way. I'll try to find the music to put over it. Uh, I gotta be careful with the copywriting, with the copyrighted music, but I'll, I think I'll manage to. So I will try to do that. So yeah, that's it for today, my dear friends, my dear viewers. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, a comment, and consider subscribing to the channel for more. I'll see you next time, and bye-bye.